I just bought the M&M CD. I, I, I personally like it. What do you think? Do you like do you like the M&M CD or do you not like the M&M CD? I'm pro m and I've always been like a big fan of M&M and it's good to see that he's finally back. So I just realized I'm driving a Buick, which no big deal, right? I'm just, I'm driving a Buick. I've been having like tons of foot pain. So like, I just kind of laughed a little bit. Check this out. I've got my... I got my old man compression socks on. I'm driving a Buick. The only thing I will say is, is this is a Grand Sport. So it's got a, uh, it's got a manual transmission. So I guess it's not that bad, but I totally feel like an old man this morning driving to work with my compression socks in my Buick car. Let me get my old man, my old man satchel back here and head to work. I'll catch up with you guys in like two vlog seconds. So I didn't want to wait to the end of the day today to finish this vlog. Today I want to introduce you to someone. Someone that you you have probably never met. I need to introduce you to my buddy Logan. What's up? <laughs> Logan um, actually started at our dealership about what? Two, three, three months ago? I hired Logan off of a video that I put on Facebook. Today I'm talking about doing like what you're really, really passionate about. What's your passion, Logan? Digital media. Digital? I'm, the, I'm the digital media specialist over at OPEC and I handle just all sorts of things photography videography i mean on the side i'm doing journalism and you know so just traditionally logan would never have a position at our dealership but i'm really really passionate about everything that he just said so i found him from a reference of another company that he was working at it seems to work out really really well so kind of just a little bit of advice for anybody that's inspiring to do video or photography or digital media or motion graphics editing picture printing i've done it all any of that really it can really be used in any business situation so we're in the car industry and traditionally this stuff doesn't happen and but we've implemented it so if you've got the drive to do it i promise you there's a spot for you it's just about finding the right person at the right time which we found logan at the right time we're really really blessed to have him and I think he's pretty blessed to be with us, or at least pretty excited to be with us. It's definitely not a bad gig, I can say that. I can see Logan's enthusiasm. Jeep season fill up. Do you have a YouTube channel? Not yet, I'm working on it. Do, do you have like, did you start it at all? Like, is there anything, is there anything there? Not yet. When you do, I'm gonna put it right there. There's gonna be a link to Logan's channel when he does get it because He's inspiring to do YouTube at some point, so it'll be. Just gotta find that time, and I gotta make that time. You don't find it, you make it. It'll be right there. Hi ho, hi ho! It's back to the dealership we go. I don't. We don't ever. Do we ever leave work? Not really. No, like we never leave the dealership. So just to go to the gas station is like a uh, blessing. This thing's gonna beep at us like crazy. Uh, we just kind of had a little moment, like a little conversation. We were talking about daily. Logan was helping me with my daily vlogs through the dealership, which he doesn't necessarily help me with these vlogs because I try to keep this like personal. I try to keep it away from the dealership. That's why I stay up so late at night editing. But Logan, whenever he got here, I think that video, uh, which I'll put like after this, but that video that I found Logan on was like day number 17 or 18 out of our daily vlogs. And Logan just said, man, like things are completely different. It's just a short period of time and things are completely different than they were. What were you doing a year ago, Logan? I think a year ago I was making sandwiches. I was just out of high school or just about to leave high school. And then one day, you know, I was in the middle of getting berated by my assistant manager. And at some clicked and I went, yeah, I'm overqualified for this. You know, I think it's time to really just start get things moving forward. And I came across here and I, I couldn't have been more, you know, happy or more lucky to find something that not only knows what I do, but appreciates it. Yeah, dude, one year, one year, this dude's life is completely different. And that's kind of where we're going with this. Like yours can be completely different too. You just gotta what? You just gotta do it, right? Yeah. So you just gotta get out of that like mundane routine. Just take a chance. Just take, just take a hop of faith because all it takes is one person or one other individual and then bam like you're gone like you're never looking back i can't tell you how many doors i walked in how many hands i've you know shook just to say hi this is what i do and they you know you know maybe they aren't 
you know, necessarily aware of how important that stuff is or they just, it's not their thing, and, you know. Um, so, while it, it, this is everywhere, it is kind of a hard thing to get into sometimes. Yep, so, what's your advice? Just, just learn. Just learn as much as you can. You're never gonna stop learning. Um, and don't be, you know, don't be afraid to pull things up. You're not gonna have everything at the front of your brain sometimes. Yep. I've been here for two months, I'm still watching tutorials. But that's what's up. I watch tutorials. That's how I learned. I, I, I don't have a video degree. I didn't learn any of this by trade, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't come easy. Just, just do it. Like Nike. I guess that's a bad example because that's like the number one most trending negative hashtag right now is Nike. So, okay. We're done here. We're getting out of this car. It's hot outside. Even though we have the AC on, it's still blazing. I'll catch up with you in just a minute. Hey guys, how are you? This episode or this video is something that I've really been wanting to do for a really, really, really long time. You're probably wondering why I'm sitting on a stoop right now. It's just to deliver the message. I'm about to tell you a lot more about it. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you're here because of the title, we're gonna talk about it right now. First things first, before we get started, I just saw out of the corner of my eye a vehicle pull up with pizza. So let's go get some pizza first and then I'll tell you some more about it. One second. One second. Whew. That was good, guys. So let's start talking about what this job is and what it isn't. First things first, we are a car dealership. We are not a production company. So we're not looking for anything over the top. Uh, but in saying that, here's some things that we're looking for as far as the persons or the people that apply. I have always believed that passion trumps skill. So if you're really, really passionate about this kind of stuff as I am, then we're gonna be able to go somewhere. Keep on clicking. If not, hit that little X, X out of this one, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. So passion trumps skill. The third thing is creativity. Obviously, I just made a pizza, in my opinion, look pretty cool. So you have to be able to be pretty creative when it comes to thinking of new stuff. Even though we have all these cars, you would think we would have a ton of content, um, but in reality, you still gotta kinda think outside the box. You are not gonna be here from open to close every single day. This is a part-time position, only a couple hours a day. Maybe Monday through Friday, or maybe Tuesday through Saturday. We can figure all that out. We're just kinda based on what we have going on here at the dealership for that week. So you'll be using drones, cameras, sometimes even a cell phone, whatever it's gonna take to get the job done. He'll pretty much be working side by side with me every single day. Well, maybe not that close. So if you think you have what it takes, send me a couple videos over of some work that you've already done and uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. Do not, please do not, this is a car dealership, do not come in here for this job. This is the one time I think I'm ever gonna say, do not show up for a job that's posted. If you would like to be considered for this position, please, again, send me over your information, and I will see you guys soon. I hope you have a great afternoon. I look forward to seeing most of you guys tomorrow. For the rest of you, send me your videos. Bye. That's it for today, guys. You be my witness, I'll be your witness. See you guys next time. Peace.